Hello everyone, welcome to Incredible Study. Today in this video, we are going to understand about the basics and the theorems related to circle that you need to know to solve any kind of deduction problem related to circle chapter. So this is must watch video for you. Therefore, watch this video till the end. And without getting delay, let's start our topic. Here you can see these all are theorems that we are going to discuss in this video. And the more we will discuss later on. So these all are theorems and before going to understand these theorems, you have to be familiar with some selected terms that is arcs, cords and central angles and assume this is a circle, right? So you have to be familiar with arcs, cords, these two terms and one is central angle, central angles. So you have to be familiar with these three terms before going to understand these all theorems minutely and conceptually. So here arcs means the portion of a circumference, right? Circumference means this all. This line boundary of the circle is known as circumference, right? And the portion of circumference is known as arc. So the portion from here to here, suppose this is A and this is B. The portion AB of this circumference is known as arc. And the chord means line joining two points of the circumference, right? Suppose these A and B are the two points on circumference and if the line joining these two points on the circumference, then this straight line is known as chords. And central angles means, here you can see, when two radii encloses at a center, then this angle, angle made at center is known as central angle, right? So here angle AOB is a central angle, is a central angle here. So here we have understood about these three terms, arcs, cords and central angles. So now we are ready to understand these all theorems minutely. So here first number theorem is central angles opposite to equal chords are equal. Central angle means the angle made at center, right? Central angles opposite to equal chords. Equal chords means the point that we join. Straight line joining A and B and M N joining point M and N. These straight line M N and straight line A B are chords. And here the condition is chords are equal, right? Cords are equal. So here AB is equal to ML. This is condition that we have given. Central angles opposite to chord AB is angle AOB, right? So central angle AOB and angle MNO. The angle of central angle opposite to chord MN is MON, right? So angle MON. Central angle MON and central angle AOB are equal to each other from statement 1 here, theorem 1. And the next number, chords opposite to equal central angles are equal, means just opposite of this. So here, if angle AOB, central angle AOB and central angle MON are equal, then the chords opposite to these angles will also be equal. So, right? AB will be equal to MN. And third number, arcs opposite to equal central angles are equal. So here the arc opposite to equal central angle is this arc. This arc from here to here, right? And this arc MN is from here to here, right? Central angle AOB and MON are equal to each other. So the arcs opposite to, according to this statement, arcs opposite to these central angles will be equal to each other. Here arc AB is equal to arc MN, right? We denote arc like this. Suppose this is AB, then this is arc and sometimes we denote chord like this. Here we denote chord like this. We straight line on this AB. This is called chord, denotion chord AB and arc AB means like this. And here fourth number, the central angles formed by equal arcs are equal. Central angle formed by equal arcs. This time, arcs are equal. The condition that we are given here, arcs are equal, right? The central angles formed by equal arcs. 
equal arcs are equal so equal arcs means arc ab is equal to arc mn so when arc ab is equal to arc mn then the central angles opposite to this will also be equal so the central angles opposite to these two equal arcs are equal and here fifth number after four we have complete the fifth number the corresponding arcs of equal chords are equal this time equal chords is a condition so here a b chord a b is equal to chord m n right the corresponding arcs of equal chord equal chord so we have to draw here chord a b and m n suppose this is a straight line right so a b and m n this time these are equal right these two lines a b and m n and the corresponding arcs of equal chords equal chords here are also equal so the arc opposite to this chord a b so this time the arc opposite to this chord a b is arc a b right and the arc opposite to this chord m n is arc m n right when this chord a b and m n are equal to each other here then arc opposite to these chords are will also be equal so here arc a b is equal to arc m n right according to this statement here fifth number completed sixth number says statement the chords on equal arcs are also equal just reverse of statement pi right the given is here arc ab is equal to arc mn so chord ab will be equal to chord mn according to statement 6 right this is the reverse of statement 5 and similarly seven number the perpendicular drawn from the center to the chord bisect the chord so the perpendicular drawn from the center where from center of the circle perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to chord right So here OP, OQ, and OR are the perpendicular drawn from the center to chords AB, MN, and XY respectively. So here we see here chord AB is a chord and OP is the perpendicular that is drawn from the center of the circle. So according to this statement, just this bisects the chord. It means AP will be equal to PB. Right? P is the midpoint of ap according to this statement ap will be equal to pb and similarly same when we see here oq is the perpendicular that is drawn from the center of the circle to chord mn so here mq will be equal to this mq will be equal to qm it means q is a midpoint and similarly here this side or is the perpendicular that is drawn from the center of the circle to the chord xy and according to this perpendicular bisect the chord xy therefore this will be equal to this right and it means xr is equal to ry so here this is statement 7 and statement 8 is just reverse of this opposite of statement 7 that is here statement 8 says that the line joining the center of the circle center of the circle and the midpoint of the chord is perpendicular to the chord so first we see in this chord, this side so here the line joining center of this circle right and the midpoint of chord p is the midpoint of chord ab so and op is the line which is joining two points first one is center of the circle and second one is midpoint of chord ab so according to this statement this op is perpendicular op is perpendicular to chord ab right so eight number statement says that when any line joining center of the circle and midpoint of any of the chord right then such line will be perpendicular to the chord respective chord so here oq is the line that is joining two points that first one is center of the circle and second one is point q so oq will be per perpendicular to the to its respective chord that is mn and similarly here or will be perpendicular to chord xy statement it also completed and nine number the equal chords are equidistant from the center of the circle 
Now you can see here these all are chords. Chord PQ, chord AB, and chord ST. These all are chords. And according to nine number statement, the equal chords are equal distance from the center of the circle. It means when the chords are equal, suppose chord chord PQ and chord AB are equal to each other, right? So chord PQ and chord AB. These chords are equal to each other. This is a condition that we are given here. So we draw a perpendicular, right? Here, O x and O y are the perpendicular. It means O x and O y gives the distance between the center of the circle and this respective chords called P Q and chord A B. So here, according to nine number statement, the equal chords are equal distance from the center of the circle. It means when the chords are equal, then such chords will be equal distance from center of the circle when we measure it. So we measure the length of this O X and O Y. So according to this statement, this O X will be equal to O Y. It means they are equal distance from center of the circle, right? Here up to nine completed. Number ten, the chords equal distance from the center of the circle are equal. According to this statement, statement number ten, at first we are given the condition that this chord PQ and chord AB are equal distance, right? PQ and chord AB are equal distance to each other. The chords which are equal distance from the center are equal. So these chords are equal distance from the center, right? It means O X is equal to O Y. Therefore, these chords P Q will be equal to A B. So, therefore, these chords will also be equal to each other. So, these are our remaining theorems. Total 15 theorems we have here. And here 11 number angles at circumference standing on same arc are equal. And here central angle is twice. The inscribed angle. It means inscribed angle means angle at circumference. The angle at circumference is also known as inscribed angle. So angles at circumference standing on the same arc. So here we see arc. We take arc A B here, right? Arc A B. So you can see here arc A B. Arc A B is the same arc. Uh, where and uh, two angles at circumference that is angle A M B and angle A N B. Angle A M B and angle A N B. You can see according to this statement, angles at circumference standing on the same arc are equal. So these two angles, angle A M B and angle A N B, are the two angles at circumference which are standing on same arc. AB, right? Arc AB. So here you can see this angle will be equal to each other. Angle AMB and angle ANB will be equal to each other according to this statement. This is a theorem. And here 12 number central angle is twice the inscribed angle standing on same arc. Central angle, it means central angle means here. Angle at center. So this is angle at center. So here you can see this is central angle. Angle AOB is a central angle. Angle AOB is a central angle which is here. So this is central angle. And angle this AMB and ANB are two angles which are inscribed angle. So according to 12 number statement, central angle is the twice the inscribed angle standing on the same arc. You can see here, so angle AOB and angle AMB are two angles which are standing on arc, same arc AB, right? Both are standing on same arc AB. So according to this statement, central angle is, central angle AOB is twice the angle inscribed angle, that is angle AOAMB. Angle standing at circumference, angle A M B, according to this theorem. It means if this angle is X and this angle is Y, then according to this, X is equal to 2Y. 
एंड हेयर इन थर्टीन नंबर एंगल एट सरकम फ्रेंस इज राइट एंगल इन सेमी सर्कल इन ए सेमी सर्कल मीन्स जस्ट वी ड्रो हेयर अ डायमीटर डिवाइड द सर्कल इन टू हाफ सो हेयर दिस इज ए सेमी सर्कल दिस इज ए डायमीटर वी लेट दिस इज ए बी राइट सो ए बी इज ए डायमीटर विच डिवाइड दिस सर्कल इन टू टू हाफ इक्वल हाफ and this upper part is also a semi circle and lower part is also known as semi circle so according to this statement 13 angle at circumference is a right angle in a semi circle angle at circumference in a semi circle so we take here upper part right so angle at circumference means this angle right so this is right angle triangle we can see here a b m is a right angle triangle and so according to statement 13 angle at the circumference in is right angle in a semi circle so you can see here this is angle angle amb angle amb is a right angle in a semi circle according to this theorem this angle will be right angle so 14 number parallel chords of a circle subtend equal arcs parallel chords of a circle subtend equal arcs so here just we draw so 14 number parallel chords of a circle subtend equal arcs it means when the chords are parallel to each other so here we draw the parallel chords suppose these two chords are parallel when these chords are parallel to each other then the arcs opposite to bit the arcs that lie between these two chords and which are opposite to each other will be equal to each other here arc pq arc ps will be equal to arc pqt so here parallel chords of a circle subtend equal arcs it means parallel chord this is a parallel chord and this sub and the arc subtended by these two chords are ps and arc qt which will be equal to each other here you can see which will be equal to each other subtend equal arcs and 15 number just reverse of this right and the condition we are given here that you can see just we read the statement first if opposite arcs between two chords are equal then such chords are parallel to each other so the opposite arcs between two chords that is chord pq and chord st these two chords and opposite arcs are equal to each other so here the condition we are given ps r ps and r qt are equal to each other then these two chords will be parallel to each other so according to this statement number 15 if the opposite arcs between two chords are equal then such chords are parallel to each other you can see here opposite arcs are equal then the chords are parallel to each other so these all are theorems related to circle that we have discussed in this video and if you haven't understood the theorems clearly then you are free to rewatch this content and even you can ask me in comment section so thanks for today and i will catch up in the next one with another new topics